Welcome to Amsterdam Whitney Gallery, the leading contemporary emerging artist gallery in Chelsea, located right here in the heart of the art district of the world. And we're honored to be on the Crystal Heart Show. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> Tell us about your art. Well, uh, it's a geometric. It's uh, transparent. I paint with transparent paint. Uh, you can see it goes on in layers layers of transparent uh, pigments and uh, I'm interested in light and in nature. Tell us about light. The, the light of nature, I mean there's there's many different lights. There's uh, the light in the morning, the fog, uh, the, light, the fog in San Francisco Bay, uh, the bridges. You think of the light when there's snow uh, the light when it rains, the light coming emanating from the clouds. I mean, nature has so many moods. Uh, I don't go out and paint mountains like Cezanne did. I live in New York City, so I have to. I had to make up my own <coughs> set of mountains, my own Saint Victory Mountain, um, and. The structure that I use to create that context is geometry. So complex geometric configurations, very simple geometric constructions. And I use transparent paint so that you can see into the painting. You can see through, you know, it, with Cezanne's apples, all you saw was the exterior that was in front of you. You saw the the skin of the apple, you didn't see what's inside. So by using transparent paint, I can go inside the object. You know, reveal for the student or for the observer, you know, what kind of geometry nature is actually using, what it looks like, you know, how it, how it feels. This, this painting is actually uh, two figures, uh, the cuboctahedron and the octahedron. The octahedron has eight faces. It's like uh, in front of the Louvre, you see half an octahedron. Do you know that structure in front of the Louvre in Paris? It's, you've seen it. It's glass. It's transparent. Well, that's half an octahedron. So in this painting, we have octahedrons and we have cube octahedrons. So it's a, it's a nesting of two different geometric structures. In this painting, we have two spheres that emanate from two uh, cubes. Uh, you can see a smaller, a smaller uh, sphere in the center and the larger one uh, covering up the, the smaller one. And actually, this painting was not terribly successful because I'm, the yellow in the background is too strong and the white absorbed the yellow and over time the painting is turning yellow which is really unfortunate but uh, you know with transparent paint uh, it's very unpredictable you never really know what you're going to get and maybe that's one thing I like about it is the unpredictability of it. Happy New Year everyone! Happy New Year everyone! <laughs> it's going to be a good year 2009. 2009, a new beginning. <laughs>